Hello, I hope you are having a beautiful day. In today's video, I will show you how I do these French braids. Before you tackle French braiding, you want to know how to do a basic braid. In this video, I'm not showing step by step a basic braid. I'm actually showing this style of French braid. You start off just like you would a regular braid, where you separate the hair into three sections. In just a moment, I will zoom in and you will be able to get a closer view. Unlike the regular braid, where you would just continue with your three sections as you go, in a French braid, you're going to add to each of those sections. For this style, I wanted the braid to be flat. In order to do that, when I add from each section, I have to add from the back, as I'm doing right here, and then add from the front as I continue my braid down. You can decide to add just from the front and continue braiding, and that would give you more of a Dutch braid. It would be a more raised braid. You can also only add pieces from the back and it'll give you a different type of braid and maybe one day I'll do the different types of braids. But today I want the braids to lay flat against my head. So I will be continuing this pattern until there's no more hair to add to the braid and then I'll just do a regular braid all the way down. And there we go. Time to do the other side. Because on the other side, I started the braid by bringing the back piece forward. You can see how I grabbed the back piece there and I'm bringing it forward. And then continue the braid as I explained previously by adding to each section as you braid down from the front and from the back. The reason I mention this is because you want the braids to be as symmetrical as possible, so certain patterns you need to mimic from side to side. So keep an eye out for that when you're starting on the other side. Please do remember that because you're braiding on yourself, your braids are not going to be equal. They're not going to be exactly the same from side to side. And they're just like our eyebrows. Our eyebrows are sisters. They're not twins. Same with our braids. When we do them on ourselves, they are sisters, not twins. <laughs> Because I have shorter layers in my hair, I have to stop my braid or at least get all my pieces of hair into the braid by the time I'm just at the end of my earlobe. That way, the braid throughout the day stays more secure, more strong, it doesn't unravel as easily. Like everything, practice makes perfect. Continue to try it, to practice, to play around with it. It's free <laughs> and you will get it. I didn't know how to braid my hair before. My mom would braid my hair all the time and she does such a beautiful job. And I wanted to learn it myself as well after I moved out of home. 
I missed my braids that she did for me. So I learned to do them and you can too. Gently loosening up these sections helps the braid look bigger. I have pretty thin hair on the bottom, so it's a must for me. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!